एडवांस ट्रामा लाइफ सपोर्ट बेसिक प्रिंसिपल आर ए बी सी डी एंड दे आर एयर वे मैनेजमेंट ब्रीदिंग मैनेजमेंट सर्कुलेशन एंड डिसेबिलिटी मैनेजमेंट एक्सेप्शन इज दैट इन अ वॉर फील्ड सी इज ऑल्सो एडेड विच इज ए सी ए बी सी डी इन सी सी इंडिकेट्स कंट्रोल ऑफ एग्जीक्यूटिंग हेमरेज एंड इन एडवांस ट्रामा लाइफ सपोर्ट इन प्री हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन मैनेजमेंट इज inform information collected from the ambulance driver and the patient ambulance driver will inform about the mechanism of injury injury signs symptoms and treatment given and from the patient will talk will ask him uh, about allergies medical condition past history last meal event leading to trauma and in ats we do two surveys which is primary survey and secondary survey in primary survey we do abcd and plus life threatening injury we see that and uh, in abcd first we check for airway airway in airway we check for airway obstruction and check your bronchial injury and breathing we see for the hemothorax pneumothorax tension pneumothorax and in circulation we check for the massive hemo uh, massive hemo- hemothorax cardiac tamponade traumatic circulatory arrest theek hai then in secondary survey uh, we do detail survey search all the injuries by the log roll normally four people are required in a fractured limb five people are required in airway uh, we check for the first we uh, stabilize the cervical spine before managing the airway to avoid cervical injury during intubation if patient is wearing the helmet two people are required to remove the helmet precautions are taken that ki hard uh, done on the hard board transfer the patient done on the hard board supine position should be done strap Hide thorax and pelvis, and in airway, first we have to stabilize the spine. Followed by, simply see if the patient can speak. If patient can speak, means his airway is protected. Danger signs are unable to speak, unexplained confusion, GCS less than eight, severe maxillofacial injury. Uh, if danger signs are present, we have to intubate the patient. Usually we do the oral tracheal intubation by the video laryngoscope. If uh, oral tracheal intubation fails, uh, fails due to uh, severe maxillofacial injury, difficult airway, then we have to do management, emergency management, definite, definitive management. Emergency management we do cricothalidotomy and definitive management to tracheostomy, through which 15 liters of oxygen is given per minute. by the high flow oxygen and surgical cricothalidotomy is not done in children usually below 12 years of age otherwise uh, there is a risk of uh, subglottic stenosis in breathing chest examination is done by inspection palpitation percussion or auscultation and we have to rule out the open tension pneumothorax and cardiac tamponade and uh, we have to see the spo2 of the patient by the pulse oximeter in circulation we put the two iv large bowl cannulas of 18 gauze which is of green color uh, if patient is in shock we are not able to diagnose the vein then we have to use a central line uh, which is internal in, internal jugular vein uh, at uh, at one go we can only give 1 liters of fluid instead of 2 liters otherwise uh, If we give more fluids, there is a risk of uh, dilution coagulopathy. So it's a new update in 2019, which said that one liter of fluid is done. Uh, one liter of fluid is to be given. And uh, in secondary survey, we give a roll of. There is a roll of tranexamic acid. One gram of uh, tranexamic acid is given in first ten minutes, and in one gram of tranexamic acid, if we give other dose, we give uh, uh, for the eight hours, over over eight hours. Significant uh, indications are uh, if there is hemorrhage, hypertension, and tachycardia.